Today, I will be unboxing this graphing tablet, which is Tanmoon's T503, and also setting up and using it with the Mac computer, because sometimes it's good with Windows, but sometimes it's really hard to connect it with the Mac. So yeah, we're gonna do just that. So let's start. Hey, what's up guys? This is again Showtime with MZ, back with another video. And uh, if you're new here, we're making a bunch of cool technological videos, unboxings, setups, and way, way more. So if you're new here, consider subscribing down below. And today we are going to be actually unboxing and setting up the great graphing tablet, which allows you, if you connect it to your computer, to actually handwrite digitally, if you understand what I'm saying. So it's quite a cool thing. And we're gonna unboxing, set up, and use it with Mac. So let's don't waste time and begin. Let's just jump to the unboxing of this thing. So right now you're seeing it on the upper side, so that like you can see how it looks, not only my face. So yeah, let's just start, okay? So let's see how we can, okay. This is the way we open it. So like this, and then, there we go. So we get this type of uh, thing over here. So let's see first of all what we get from the box, okay? We get this uh, 10 moons um, user guide. By the way, the name of this graphic tablet is uh, T503, uh, 10 moons graphic tablet. Um, it's currently not available on Amazon, but I will still include the link to it as well as the link to AliExpress where it is available, okay? So yeah, we just get this uh, simple uh, user guide for Windows as well as for Mac from another one. Like here is the user guide for Mac, okay? Um, then let's put it aside. Then we get here this um, graphic pen or pencil. I don't know whatever you call it, but it seems to be cool. As well as we get this um, ring over here, which is for uh, removing, you know, the nibs from this uh, pen or pencil. Finally, we get the tablet itself, which says 10 moons, of course. So this is like the guy we will be using today in the video, just mainly. Oh, and we get this, of course, like the adapter or the cable, whatever you call it, so that we can, of course, uh, plug it into uh, the laptop or computer, whatever it is. So in this case, I will be using MacBook because like many people can, of course, connect it to uh, the Windows, but it is kind of tricky when it gets to connecting this tablet and using it with the Mac. So yeah, we'll be using it with the Mac. Okay, uh, so that's pretty much what we get inside the box. Nothing more here, I guess. Yeah, that's it. So we are gonna set the box aside for a while and we are gonna actually take a look at the things that we got. So of course, this is the cable, nothing too crazy. So we're gonna put it aside. And let's first of all take a look at the pencil, okay? So I don't know if you can see it over there, but like we have some plus and minus buttons over there, which are plus and minus, you know? But unfortunately, I think it doesn't work with Mac. Uh, but um, yeah, and uh, like it's a pen, like a normal pen, what you would expect, of course. Okay. Also, we get here this instructions, and by the way, here is this uh, uh, QR codes that uh, will be include the links to, so that you can purchase this item, um, as well as yes, the user guide just normally tells us everything about uh, this stuff. So yeah, let's take a look at the user guide and the touch pad or pa pad pad. I don't know. Okay, so yeah, let's take a look at it. So this button, number one button, is uh, for shift. So if we're gonna tap it, it's shift. Number two is alt. Uh, number three is uh, like, it's over here. I don't know if you can see, but it's not the button actually, but it's somewhere over here and there comes the blue light. So it's just light. Uh, furthermore, we have a tab, which is number five button. Uh, no, it's four. Number four is space button. Number five is uh, the tab button over there. And of course, this, uh, you know, this black area is full. Um, 
painting area it's like really like that over here by the way this table it comes in not only white color but also in, it comes in pink pink and turquoise so keep in mind now uh, also we get here let's take a look at the pencil or pen write in the comments how do you call it so we have as i've already told you key of plus and key of minus we also get over here the pen cover which is um this one like this place and we also get the pen nib which is like this little part of it you see like this okay so now when we know all about the unboxing when we are already done with the unboxing now let us set it up which is great part it's my favorite part because it's hard a bit so yeah we just know everything about this one and we are gonna start using it right away so first of all we are gonna of course uh, make it like a packet unwrap it whatever you call it so we can just simply do it like this okay there we go like this so that like if we have the maximum length of this cable wire now let's bring my macbook here which is right here i'm gonna start the screen recording of course so that like you can see what we're doing right now so there goes my macbook we'll put it just like okay let me put it here because like the main guy of today's show is uh, this one the pad so yeah let me put it right there let me start the screen recording on my mac so that we can see what's going on uh options we need the built-in microphone there we go so let's get started so first of all we are gonna plug this part of uh, the cable into this part of the macbook you see this one so it's like usb c or a no it's not usb c it's usb a or b now we have a long part and the small one we are gonna actually connect it to this part you see so like this one over here just like this so oh uh, let me see yeah there we go so you shall plug it like this okay okay so now on my macbook we see some kind of notification that your keyboard cannot be identified so it th thinks that like it's a keyboard by the way as soon as you plug it in you see some kind of a blue light blinking over here i don't know if you yeah 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 you can see it okay there it goes so yeah you can see that blue light blinking it means that it's like, connected to it and now uh we're gonna just simply tap continue because it's not a keyboard so we're gonna just simply continue close it up now the important thing that actually appeared on our desktop is this thing which is pen driver it's like a cd so we are going to just simply tap this pen driver thing double tap it so that we can open it and we have some files over here so we're going to tap this one which says tablet driver dmg double tap it and then it will start actually opening this dmg very fine then opening and then we will get the package my tablet package it's like called like that we're gonna actually double tap it again then we will be guided through the steps necessary to install the software so we're gonna tap the continue button over there then it says that this will take some space we're gonna just tap install it will of course ask us the username and the password to insert there we go and uh, continue when the software finishes installing we will restart the computer we're going to simply tap continue installation and it's like a preparing a tablet register registering updated applications and there we go the installation was successful so now i'm gonna tap the restart button over there but first of all, I will, of course, stop the screen recording so that it doesn't actually get lost this recording. Okay, so I have tapped the restart button over there and it has began restarting the computer. So it's like shut down this computer and then turns on the computer again. So I'm going to just simply insert the username's password over there so that we can actually get into the laptop. Okay, I have resumed the recording of my screen so that we can see what we are doing. 
you can see what I'm doing actually. So now, following the instructions, we shall actually go to the settings of our computer. Okay, there goes the prompt. So my tablet daemon would like to receive keystrokes from any application. We are going to just simply tap the open system preferences so that we can go to system preferences. And uh, here we are. Another way to actually get to this place is uh, if like prompt doesn't pop up. You're going to just simply tap the system preferences button over there. And then you are going to tap the security and privacy, which is right there. You're gonna wait for some time and it might be on here the general so in the upper side of the screen you are going to choose the privacy tab over there and to make sure that you click the lock to make changes over here so we're going to tap the lock insert the password which is right there and then what we're going to do is that we're going to actually scroll down till we see over here which is um input monitoring so we're gonna make sure that my table daemon is checked so that we can uh like it can input monitor the input i guess now let's take the pen and let's see what we can do with this one so as you can see i think you can see it so i'm gonna just i'm just moving my pen around it like around this tablet and i think we should like like this yeah so we are moving the table around and it's doing quite pretty well like it's doing a well job but the thing is that for example we are gonna launch the drawing application in my case I'm gonna launch the Autodesk sketchbook as you can see it's like a application in which you can draw some stuff if we are gonna try to draw with it nothing like we are just simply pressing the touchpad but it's just moving the mouse but not actually writing anything and yeah this is quite common problem if you don't know how to solve it okay so to actually solve this problem we are gonna take look at not the input monitoring in the privacy settings but actually you want to go to the place where it says like of course you want to go to the privacy and then you want to go to the place not into input monitoring but into the accessibility and now of course we don't have here the option as we had in input monitoring which is my table daemon and to actually get this option this is what we must do so make sure that you see the pen driver CD icon on your desktop because you're gonna need it. And now we wanna actually drag it to this accessibility place. And now we see that we have like a pen driver checked over there. So that like we have pen driver. But anyways, if we were to go to the sketchbook, we would not really be able to write anything as you can't see right now, hopefully. But the one more option which will finally lead to being able to draw with this pen and touchpad on Mac is that we're gonna actually tap this plus icon over here which says add an application and when you tap it make sure it might be like this on the pen driver and make sure that you choose the tab which says applications which is right here and now what we want to do is to scroll all the way down where it says my table a demon and you either double click it or tap the open button over there and there you go you have the option which says my table a demon into the accessibility and it's checked ticked okay and now let's see what we get just let's try to now write into the Autodesk sketchbook. You are seeing that I'm not faking this video because like you see the touchpad right here. My pen is right here. And of course my laptop is right here. So let's try. Let me take the, I don't know, green probably. It's better one. Okay, so let's try to write here Showtime with MZ, which is my channel. So show time with mz and 
you see, we get it. We can actually have it writing over here. We have wrote, we have written this with our touchpad, our pencil on the Mac computer. And the last thing, guys, I want to say is, let me make this color actually red. Okay, there we go. And I want to you to see that I'm writing right now with my pencil, okay? So I want you to click this button. Yeah, I want you guys to subscribe. And also it would be beneficial for me if you actually go ahead and click um, this button, which is like. Yeah, so like, please guys, just subscribe, like, comment if you have any questions, any concerns, if this doesn't work for you, or anything like this, but it works 100% with any macOS running device. So yeah, that's just basically your tutorial on how to um, use the um, 10 months graphic tablet onto your mac computer and the boxing of course so yeah hopefully you enjoyed if you did smash the like button and of course subscribe and i'll see you guys later bye